I'll be available to answer any questions. And quite frankly, I'm never going to talk about this damn case again. Not a goddamn time. I'm telling you right now. I'm not going to say a damn word about it. This is the only time with you guys, my bosses, okay? If somebody asks me on the street, maybe I'll talk to them on the street. This is it. I'm not talking about it on the record, nothing. This is it, as far as I'm concerned. I don't want to talk about this again, which was anticipated. We told you guys when we were contemplating the rate, we were probably going to get sued. And my prediction, our prediction, came true. We were sued by Whiting. We were sued by Highland. We were sued by Dyer. We were sued by Munster. We were sued by Griffith. And then it was ham and water against all those communities. And the city of Hammond being represented by corporate counsel, being represented by Shauna Levinson, who's the, department, the water department attorney, being represented by Fagri Baker and Daniels, being represented by Icorn and Icorn. And we were up against all of the big boys in Indiana. And I don't mean to be sexist by saying big boys. All the largest law firms in Indiana were representing each customer community, all of them against us. The first Zoom we had, which is fair, one of the biggest concerns in the lawsuit was, so Hammond residents are going to pay $1.90 for 1,000 gallons, okay? Now, when we sell water to Highland, should we charge Highland $1.90 for 1,000 gallons? Even though their residents are paying $3 plus. Well, Highland pushes back, not just Highland, but I'm saying Highland, but the, in this case, the class pushed back and said, if you're charging Hammond residents $1.90, we shouldn't have to pay $1.90 because a lot of your infrastructure is like Knickerbocker Parkway, where I live. Like Highland fills, we shouldn't have to pay for infrastructure improvements on Knickerbocker Parkway or on Magoon or on any of other Tapper or on any other residential street in the city of Hammond. That's something that the Hammond Water Utilities should pay for. So one of the big things that came out of this litigation was you need to have a separate rate for customer communities. That's something we had to consider in November. Now we all know what happens in municipal budgets in November. Well, in September, October, November, you're making budgets. So how fair is it that Hammond comes along and says, hey, customer communities, we quadrupled your rates and you owe us $5 million instead of $1 million, right? So we all knew that we were going to have to phase it in. And quite frankly, to avoid litigation, we were offering what ended up becoming the settlement. We need to phase this in. Let's just agree what the numbers are over 10 years. Um, so under this proposal, starting January 1st, 2021, going backwards, all the customer communities pay double for the first two years. And then it goes higher and higher. Mayor Hammond, if you set the wholesale rate, we're going to be approaching you next. I want to speak up. I promise you. They actually, the class, actually floated a bill with the Republican supermajority that tried to disgorge all the money that we've ever sold in Illinois for operating a shadow public utility. I know who did it. I know what they were trying to do. And if that passed the Republican supermajority, it would have devastated Hammond. I'm talking... $100 million, Kevin? More? They were literally trying to get every penny that we've ever sold in Illinois, ever. And, but I know who this person is, and I know what they did, and I know what the bill said, because the legislator called me right after they got it and said, this is, was given to me by so-and-so. I'm not getting in the middle of this lawsuit. These guys think they're crazy if they think I'm going to do something with this. And I appreciate that, legislator. Representative Soliday, by the way. Okay. Representative Soliday, thank you, Representative Soliday, for reaching out to the city of Hammond and giving us a heads up that somebody's trying to chop our heads off. I appreciate you, Representative Soliday, for giving me a heads up. He's a stand-up person. He was watching out for the city of Hammond. In a Republican supermajority, he's a Republican from Valparaiso, and he watched out for the city of Hammond. Thank you, Representative Soliday, for giving me the heads up. He called me the day he got the bill, and I appreciate that. He didn't have to do that. And, it, and if it starts getting traction in that General Assembly, we got major problems because then they're calling into question the water sales to Illinois. That's one of the things that's our lifeline, guys. This is lifeline for the next 100 years. Our water sales in Illinois, and they're trying to kill us for it. I'll never forgive them. Mm. And they're going to be one of our customers for 20 more years. <laughs> that's the classic part. Thank you. Councilman Kowinski. Next meeting.